Hey y'all, welcome back to Lantern Creek Farm. Today I want to talk to y'all about something that uh, has tragically happened recently. Uh, something that I wasn't prepared for. Um, I had a video uh, for you all yesterday. was filming a video yesterday of rabbits. We had come out to the farm and uh, had was wasn't really prepared for our doe to give birth we weren't quite sure when she was bred and um when we came she was starting to nest and so we figured you know it would be soon when she would have the babies maybe the next day or so um uh tragically though i had went up to the house and come back down and she had given birth and she had given birth to about seven babies um, in which when I came in, I caught her eating, uh, one of her dead babies. Um, and to say that I was shocked is an understatement. I was completely overwhelmed with emotion and, uh, distraught at that time and wasn't quite sure where to turn or what to do. Um, and so I had grabbed the nesting box out in which she had had the babies. She also had... I brought a few out of the nesting box and was eating uh, one of her babies, which I was unaware that rabbits did. Um, uh, from my research when we started this, from my understanding and my research, I didn't realize that it was this difficult to have babies. It was not really something that I had found that people were talking about, that it was this difficult for um, rabbits to uh, reproduce or the hardships of reproduction that they, you know, will turn on their babies and eat them and things like that. And so when I came in, there was blood on my doe rabbit and also blood in quite a few places and dead babies laying everywhere. And when I say tragic, I mean tragic. It was a tragic scene. And I had to gather up the dead babies in the rabbit hedge and um, the dead babies in the nesting box. And while searching through the nesting box, I found one live baby. Um, he was the smallest, or it is the smallest out of the babies. And um, at, at this point, I am trying to hand raise uh, this baby and, and bottle feed the baby along with uh, force feeding from the mother uh, and making the baby or letting the baby forcefully feed off of the mother's breast along with supplementing with uh, goat milk replacer. I know the odds of the baby surviving are very low. Um, even more so that it is a single ten, it is one baby, uh, but I'm going to do the best I can um, with the knowledge that I have, which is not much, but the knowledge that I do have and the research that I've done, I'm going to try to do the best I can for the baby. He made it through the night um, and was doing very well feeding this morning, but I want to talk to you all today about the hardships of what it's like being a farmer and at times how it's so overwhelming and so hard that you just want to stop and I'm going to try to tell you all this without crying but farming is an emotional uh, feat whether you're farming for crops or you're farming uh, livestock husbandry Either or one of those things can be very hard and very difficult. Farming is um, something you put a lot of effort into and you do the best you can with the knowledge that you have and you just push through and you try to do whatever you know how to do to the best of your ability and a lot of times you don't get out what you put in and so sometimes it's it's really hard to go through those feats of putting so much in and getting so very little back. And I know a lot of people would say, well, why did you choose farming? This is something that I've wanted to do for as long as I can remember when I was seven years old. 
we li we always lived in or mostly lived in town um, majority of my childhood even into my adulthood um, and being a teenager and stuff my family my parents always lived in uh, had us children living in town and so I dreamed I wish for and I hoped for um, from the time I from the time I can remember being seven years old wanting a horse and things like that I always wanted this life this is something that for as long as I can remember I've always wanted this I have a deep love for animals and for farming and for nature and for producing things from my own hands and from the effort that I put in and although it's hard sometimes and I tell Andy I want to quit I don't want to do this this is too hard I can't do this he's a great partner and he always tells me that I can and, and, and I can push through and you can do this and um, you know tells me you did the best that you can but there's always loss when it comes to farming I don't know any farmer that hasn't experienced loss whether it be baby chicks or baby goats or baby rabbits or baby horses there's always a loss and I and I hate to be such a, a downer, a Debbie Downer about this, but there, it's something that people need to know when they get into farming. It was something that maybe I wasn't aware of as much as my husband was because he grew up in this lifestyle. But there's hard moments, really hard moments, where you just have to pull up your bootstraps and take a deep breath and take control of the situation that, that in normal everyday life you wouldn't have to take control of. For example, yesterday, um, having to gather baby bunnies up and take them and coming in to a baby bunny being eaten was a hard experience, was a tra traumatic experience for me, but it's something that I do want to share to help others, and I sure don't need sympathy from anybody. I'm not saying this to have any sympathy, but to let people know and to to let them be aware that farming is not all rainbows and sunshine and happiness there's moments where it's happy and and sometimes you have a lot of happy moments and you have a lot of good things happen but there there's bad too bad is going to come and it's not anything that you can help you when you have when you're working with nature, when you're working in husbandry, nature will always, the natural way that things work, it will always triumph over the things that you do because this is how God created things. He, There's a cycle of life that has to happen in order for other things to happen. And so it's hard in the moments, but if you step back and realize these are the things that happen out in nature we've got we've domesticated animals in a way that we don't see a lot of times what happens and we only see the baby the babies the hoppy babies and 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 the joy and the happiness when it comes to to the babies and and what those animals bring to us but we forget that nature has a way that things work, that things have to work. And although yesterday was traumatic, me going in and finding a mother eating her babies out in the wild, that is a natural thing that they do. If, they're, if their kits are dead, they'll, they will eat them to protect themselves. And so, although it was tragic and was really hard for me and something that I'm gonna have to, you know, bear, um, it's common. It happens. It's things that happen. And that's that's not something that I was made aware of. That's not something that I may, I introduced myself to um, in previous times. And it wasn't something that I had found in my research that this, this actually can and will happen. And it happens a lot of times. And then it's very common. And so, like I said, I'm just coming on here to, to let you all know of something that maybe I wasn't aware of when I started. Just a, a city girl raised in the city, wasn't around animals much, but had a love for them, but wasn't quite 
awakened or didn't have the realization that with with animals comes loss and um, sometimes it's not that animal that's really old and you know has had a full happy life sometimes it's babies that are hours old or or uh, babies born and not alive that's things that happen and it's something that needs to be spoken about so I appreciate you all um, joining me today I know this wasn't a happy video and hate to be the bearer of bad news um, but I feel like this is something that has to be spoken about this is something that that needs to be said it's something that a lot of farmers or homesteaders online that I found don't speak about but loss is real um, in this lifestyle and it's something we all have to deal with when it comes to this lifestyle and so I hope this was helpful for you all and I appreciate you all watching thanks for watching bye